Thank you, Lionel. Um, let me reinforce what Lionel says about putting questions um, up on the chat and we'll be able to look at them and hopefully come back to them at the end. Gareth, well done for starting the ball rolling on that. Good question, which we'll be pleased to answer. Um, oh, I was obviously supposed to go through the, my slideshow a bit faster. This section, um, Lionel having told us what's so special about Reuben College and what its distinctive feature is, sort of takes a slightly broader look at what does a college do? Sort of philosophical question, why does Oxford have this weird system of colleges? And because it's quite a tricky question, there's three of us here to answer it for you. Um, I'm Caroline, I'm the senior tutor, um, which is a weird title, like much in Oxford, makes some sense when you're here, but no sense outside of Oxford. In essence, I'm responsible um, for the oversight of the graduate provision for what the college is doing for you. And I'm the person you can either come and complain to or make suggestions to or cry on or just you know shoot shoot the breeze and have a chat about what college life is like and what's happening in your life. Uh, let me pass over to Ellen and she can introduce herself and her role in the college. Right, um, I'm Ellen. Um, I think most of you have uh, have seen my name and <laughs> who I am. I'm the uh, academic and graduate administrator. Um, so I do all the administration really at the moment uh, making sure that um, you, you know, looking at your applications, making sure you get your offers, your financial declaration forms, right up to probably now I will be uh, um, allocating accommodation as well, and on to, you know, writing up student handbooks, just preparing, making sure that when you're here, you have everything that you need. And during the on course as well, I, I'm also the other person, if you want to come and talk to, if any problems, uh, any issues, extensions, mitigating circumstances, anything you want to know about Oxford admin, because it is really bureaucratic, I'm here to help you. And I think the next one is Lauren. Hi everyone, so I'm Lauren. I am, so my title is Graduate Advisory President. I'm here to kind of get the common room going and get really like help on the student engagement piece of Ruben because students really are at the heart. So I'm here to kind of get that going. I'm Right now I'm writing the constitution, kind of like setting up things. And I'm always here if you guys have any questions that you want an answer from a student's perspective. And Lauren, can you tell us what your current role in Oxford is and as it were, what you're doing here? Sure, I guess I can. Um, so yeah, so I'm a grad student at Worcester College right now, and I'm also acting as the vice president of graduate students of the Students' Union. So I have a lot of experience um, kind of representing students in uh, university committees. Thank you, Lauren. Sorry to put you on the spot. Right, so let's move on to what does college do? Um, how does it enrich your time at Oxford and, and what's your role in it? If we could have the second slide, please, Ellen. So your members of a department, those will be, that will be the department that has accepted you for your studies, undoubtedly a conditional acceptance, and we sincerely hope we'll be able to see you here in October, and you're members of the university, and you're also members of this third thing called the college. The college isn't responsible for your degree, that will be your department, but it is responsible for making sure that you have a home in Oxford outside of your department, a place you call your own, where you can find support, where you can find help with any disability you have, with any support structure, as Ellen says, whether you need um, change of conditions for your exams, whether you want to talk to somebody about what's going on, what's going right, what's going wrong. So Lionel has outlined a wonderful programme of academic enrichment, interdisciplinary studies and links to the outside community that I think is unparalleled in Oxford. Um, but in addition, we are your home. We're a place where if you were middle-aged like me, you'd put your slippers on um, and curl up on the settee and chat with friends. Uh, we're one of 45 colleges. We're not the first college, uh, but we are the last, the most recent. Um, and you have this dual citizenship, which some people compare, um, I don't know how flatteringly, to the sort of federal system of the US. So if one imagines one's a citizen of the US, uh, one's, one's, one has a US passport, have an Oxford degree, but you're a member of a state, California, Missouri, and they all have their distinct flavours. Each college will try and tell you what its own flavour is to its own advantage, and you guys are going to create Ruben's flavour and we can see what US state we most find ourselves like. Um, it is at the heart of Oxford, and indeed Cambridge to be fair, but it's that extra resource that really enables what Lionel's setting up in the interdisciplinary environment, an opportunity to learn and grow outside your discipline, and we hope make friendships for life. If you could have slide three, please, Ellen. 
Lauren's talked a little bit about her role as graduate advisory president. So the students elect from amongst themselves a president, their representative, and indeed a committee. So you might have a welfare representative, a social secretary, um, a treasurer and so forth. In the absence of a student body to elect a president, we sort of co-opted Lauren, who is the graduate representative across the university at the moment, so it would be hard to find anybody else uh, with more of a democratic mandate than Lauren. But once you come and you and Lauren together form your committee and so forth, I hope lots of you will find lots of ways to engage in the college. Lionel has spoken about being a pioneering student and ways in which you will shape and develop us and get involved. Lauren's already talking to the Lineker students, I think, about what activities we're going to do in common and what separately, how we're doing sport, how we're uh, coalescing in, in dining and all sorts of opportunities. Lauren, can you tell us a little bit more about how you, what you feel a college community provides? Yeah, so, so college communities are, I feel like kind of like the social the social aspect of, of the university experience at, at Oxford. So it's your MCR committee will come together. We're calling it a GCR committee though, because of the, the cool structure of Ruben. But so our GCR committee will um, like common room will come together and we'll put on events that everyone can just take part in. So this can be um, dinners, it can be bar nights, it can be movie nights, you know, whatever we really want it to be, because we are going to be the ones shaping it and setting kind of the traditions that will be in place at Ruben for, for years on end. Um, so I've been working with Lineker because we're sharing spaces with them on different events that we can put on together. And we've been brainstorming kind of, I was my, the social secretary at my college. So I have a bunch of ideas from there. And then of course they have their own ideas as well. And then you guys will come in and we can come up with this really cool, interesting um, term card is what they're called of events that we'll put on throughout the terms. Thanks, Lauren. If we could go to the next slide, Ellen, one thing I do want to pull out um, about the college structure is your um, partnering with a college advisor. So Ruben has um, approximately 30 academics uh, who are fellows of the college, experts and specialists in their field. They're not necessarily your course director. Um, they won't necessarily be involved in your studies at the department, but what they can provide from the college side is a listening ear. If you're having problems with your supervisor or with your work, they can't come in and take over, but they can be someone knowledgeable on the ground who has your interests at heart, talking to you about how to navigate those relationships, what to do when every experiment fails, what to do when your computer breaks down. Your advisor will just help mentor you through. Um, and that's gonna be a really strong link and, a link. and again, it's something that the college system provides is a resource outside of your departmental structure who's informed and who can um, support you what come what may. Um, so as long as all these facilities, and we haven't touched upon the domestic facilities as yet, but we can do so if any of you have any specific questions. Um, as you know, we're sharing with Lineker uh, next year. So um, lots of them will be saying, we'll look at Lineker's, Lineker's website, we're doing that. We're certainly planning formal halls each week, which are sort of guest nights where you can bring friends and family, um, as well as Lionel says, these academic events uh, weekly. Uh, so if we move on to the next slide, Lauren. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, Ellen, you were kindly going to talk a little bit more about college facilities and support. I'm so sorry, that's premature. No worries, Caroline. Uh, I think you have pretty much um, say everything I need to say there. So I think on the slides, you can see the facility facilities College will usually provide library, study space, common room, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we are sharing facilities with Lineker. So there's a library. Um, you are allowed to join uh, clubs and societies that are in Lineker. There's a music room um, and, and it has a very, very good gym, I've heard. Um, apparently one of the best in Oxford. Um, and Caroline mentioned that uh, our formal hall will be on Wednesdays in Lineker, Lineker's dining hall. And that is actually for Reuben College only. Of course, you can bring guests along, uh, but it's not a joint event. Uh, so if you want to have a better idea of what uh, facilities are there at Lineker, have a look at Lineker's college website. Uh, we pretty much have access to all of the facilities there. Um, and we talked, I think um, Caroline mentioned briefly about college advisors. So yeah, they're there to support you, to make sure that you're happy, you're well, uh, and also to guide you through the welfare provisions and the maze of Oxford bureaucracy. 
Um, they can also help if you have, you know, facing difficulties with academic studies, um, if you have problems with the quality of teaching in the department, I'm sure they're all good, and or if you have problems with your academic supervisor. And on the welfare side, uh, the college will have a welfare team, um, the academic office will be part of it, and there will be a couple of posts uh, supporting um, the welfare provision at the college. Uh, and there are all, we will also be using peer support mentors, these are senior research students, um, so they are your peers uh, rather than an academic or a staff member, and hopefully um, that will help um, with your conversations as well. Um, and the college will provide some small academic grants um, to students, which you can apply to, um, and these include travel grants for field works, conferences, and some hardship grants uh, for unforeseen problems. And I think I briefly met, um, mentioned about exams administration. This is the college offices where you go when you need extensions, when you have issue, issues with your exams, mitigating circumstances, that's where we come. So in general, you know, when you're at Reuben, do speak to your college advisor, speak to Caroline, myself, or anyone in the college office, we're there to help and make your life easy. Thank you, Ellen. Um, we're on the final slide for our session and I will give the last word to Lauren. One thing I wanted to say was great that you've chosen Ruben. Uh, you're already a, already a selective uh, bunch and self-selecting Ruben means that you've already got the spirit of the college. One thing I wanted to stress is that nobody's a customer of the college. This isn't a transactional relationship whereby you come and you receive services and you do things. Of course, the college is provide services in rich life but you all of us associate with the college as citizens none of us are consumers we both served and are served we have rights and responsibilities and like every citizenry as it were one gets out what one puts in and it's beholden on all of us um, to make the college the place we want to be and in that the graduate body is pretty powerful and we hope you're really excited by that leverage you'll have and, and join us in this endeavor. And as Lionel says, this historic endeavor uh, to be the students setting down the college and, and really creating and shaping as, as equal citizens and rather than consumers. But let me pass over to Lauren who will um, guide you in this. Sure, yeah. So I've spoken a bit about kind of the social aspect of, of what graduate students do and work together to put on. But there's also this other this other side of us really being active members of the Rubin community um, and really working to lobby for the changes that we want to see and really put Rubin in the direction that we want to see it going in. So I think it's it's really exciting opportunity um, that we're all starting, that you guys are all starting here to um, get together and really decide on that direction and, and push Rubin in that direction alongside all of the fellows and everyone. So it's going to be good.